LEGO fans love a bargain, but that doesn't mean that they're not ready to shell out some serious money for the perfect LEGO set. Today we'll be looking at a $1 LEGO set all the way up to one worth $100,000, and even a set that might be worth over $200,000, so stay tuned until the end. Now, there's not much that one dollar can get you anymore, but that doesn't mean that those Washingtons in your pocket are worthless. Sometimes, if you get very lucky, you can find LEGO sets for only a single buck. Case in point, a user over on Reddit posted this picture from their local Walmart, showing off a pile of these 3-in-1 Blue Express sets on clearance for just one dollar each. That's a pretty great deal for a set that cost five dollars to begin with. But as you know, finding that much of a discount at any store is incredibly rare. If you want to find something cool for next to nothing, you've got to hit up some local garage sales. Just check out this score. That's a new in-box Life on Mars set from 2001 that originally sold for $4, which is about $7 these days. And I personally remember finding one of those old LEGO board game sets for $1 at a local garage sale whenever I was younger. In fact, I still have it. It was the Banana Balance game. But even this is not even close to the best dollar you can spend at a yard sale, because there was a time around the year 2000 when LEGO Technic sets were largely sci-fi inspired builds, a bit like Bionicle. One such sub-theme that only ran for a year was the Robo Riders, which released a total of 15 sets, and one lucky shopper was able to pick up four of them for a dollar a piece. If these are still sealed, they could sell for as much as $50 each, so this is definitely a great find. But it's still nowhere near the best $1 LEGO find, because that honor has got to go to this still-in-box Technic R2-D2 released in 2002. Now, this set may not look like much, but it's got it where it counts. This was the first brick-built version we ever got of the legendary astromech droid, and despite its appearance, the set has earned a soft spot on the hearts of many longtime fans. If you want to pick up one of these for your very own, you'd likely have to pay over $100, so this was an incredible steal. But more often than not, if you're looking for budget LEGO sets, you'll be best off buying in bulk, and $1 can go a long way. Just look at this lucky haul from a yard sale. The box alone is worth at least 10 times the price by itself. And while bulk lots of toys are always something of a gamble, for a single US dollar, you can't go wrong. But what if you've got a little bit more money to spend? What can you get for $10? Well, quite a lot it seems, because unlike $1 sets that are all based on getting lucky, there are many LEGO sets that retail for around the $10 price mark. The 3-in-1 Creator sets routinely provide us some of the best budget builds on the market for only $10, and you can pick up sets such as the Space Shuttle set or Mighty Dinosaurs. But if you're looking for something a little more grounded, the Technic Motorcycle is also a great choice, and if you're all about display sets, then there's no shortage of brickheads available for $9.99. Now, climbing up the price ladder, LEGO has a huge array of sets in the $100 price range that anyone would be lucky to pick up. Released in 2018, the Statue of Liberty is a fantastic update to the classic set from 2000. It's a great set for fans as it comes with a huge number of sand green pieces, which is one of the rarest LEGO colors out there. But if you're looking to expand your horizons a bit and travel the world, then why not pick up the LEGO Taj Mahal for only a tiny fraction of the cost of buying a plane ticket to India? For 100 US dollars, you can have your very own small-scale replica of the world's most impressive mausoleum. And if you're looking for something a bit more artistic, the incredible Jazz Quartet, as well as the Walt Disney Tribute Camera, are also both unique choices. Now, what if you have some serious cash to throw around? What if you're looking to drop a cool grand on some LEGO? Just how much can you get? Well, that depends on just how rare you're trying to go. You see, the UCS ATAT -AT is one of LEGO's biggest and most impressive sets ever, and what's better is that it's still on the market, so it should be pretty reasonably priced, right? Well, think again. This 6,785 piece set comes with a price as terrifying as the actual on-screen machine. 850 US dollars. Yup, nearly $1,000 for a current retail set. And what's more is that the price per piece comes out to a staggering 12 cents a brick, which is well beyond the norm, even for several licensed sets. But if history has taught us anything, these bad boys will be selling for considerably more in the years after it's been retired. To see exactly what I mean, take a look at the Imperial Star Destroyer from 2002. Upon release, this set sold for $300 for 3,000 pieces. Today, though, if you want to snag one of these new in-box, you'll have to be prepared to drop upwards of $1,500, though you can get lucky and find them on eBay for as little as about $900, depending on box condition. And while these sets are mostly meant to be put on a shelf for display, there's at least one set that was meant to be played with that has also skyrocketed in value, the incredibly rare Castle Giant chess set. 
released in 2008 and containing 2,367 pieces with 31 minifigures, this set was perhaps the most impressive of the LEGO board game series. Today, finding one of these even just for sale online is incredibly rare, but if you do, be prepared to spend close to $2,000 to take it home. However, there's one set that rises above the rest when it comes to increased value over time, the Bat Pod from 2015. Originally released as a totally free prize for LEGO VIP contest winners, there were only 750 of these sets ever released. And today, if you can find a collector willing to part with theirs, you'll probably need to spend at least $1,500 if it's still sealed. But remember a few minutes ago when I mentioned how the Statue of Liberty and Taj Mahal were meant as updates to their original models? Well, one reason why they got a little glow up is that the original sets had been off the shelf for so long that getting your hands on one was virtually impossible. While the modern version of the Statue of Liberty is still widely available, the original, set 3450, was retired at the end of 2002, and today finding one of these will run you close to $4,000. Likewise, the original Taj Mahal will set you back close to $2,000. But if you think those sets are pricey, just wait. We're just at the tip of the iceberg. We're about to get into the real heavy hitters. But before we do, please take two seconds to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Now, Star Wars might be LEGO's most successful theme of all time. It's so synonymous with LEGO that it's hard to even remember a time without it. When the first Star Wars sets were announced in 1999, it was a huge deal, as these were the very first licensed sets that LEGO would ever make, and the company spared no expense in marketing them. It was from here that we got one of the most sought-after sets ever released. At Toy Fair in 1999, LEGO handed out an unknown number of sets promoting their new line. This package contained a small pre-built display showing Luke and Darth Vader locked in combat on the Death Star. While LEGO has never revealed exactly how many of these were made, estimates range from 100 to 200, meaning that even just seeing one is likely never going to happen for most LEGO fans. In 2022, though, one was sold to MNR Productions for an eye-watering $5,500, with reports of Instagram user Rarest LEGO minifigures paying double that for an even rarer version in a white package. However, some of the most consistently expensive sets out there are from the LEGO Inside Tour that are given out each year as exclusives. These are typically created in very, very limited numbers and are never made available to the general public to purchase. This year's set is the LEGO Fire Engine, which is an incredible build and only 60 of them were ever made. If you weren't on the 2023 Inside Tour, the only way to snag one of these is to fork up close to six thousand US dollars. But it doesn't stop there. In fact, an even more rare and more valuable tour exclusive is 2009's Ole Kirk's House. LEGO only ever made 32 of these, which were hand-numbered, making them truly one-of-a-kind collector's items. For that reason, finding one in new condition for your own collection will set you back around $8,500. But you see, it's not only limited-run exclusives that can fetch these kinds of prices. I mean, just take a look at the airport shuttle set from 1990. Someone is currently selling one of these new in-box on eBay for $4,200, and the highest recorded price paid for one is just over five grand. If that price blows your mind, just wait until you see how much this LEGO UNICEF van is worth. This set was originally launched in 1985 and contains 59 pieces and only a single minifigure. Like many others on this list, this set was never available for purchase, but it was given out as a promotional gift to LEGO Club members in the US and Canada. While the number of sets released isn't known, the fact that there are any still out there in their original packaging after nearly 40 years is incredible. For that reason, one of these small sets still new in box will cost you close to $8,000. Arguably, though, one of the most famous LEGO sets ever created is the original Yellow Castle. Released back in 1978, this was one of the very first sets ever to include modern minifigures, and it even came with an impressive 14 of them among its 767 pieces. Upon release, though, this set sold for a modest $50, and while that might sound like the deal of the century, it comes out to just over $200 in today's money. But what would one of these run you today? Well, if you're looking for one still sealed in the box in perfect condition, be prepared to pay right around $10,000. Another classic set, though a much newer one that will run you five figures, is 2003's Cloud City set. The set came with only 698 pieces and seven minifigures and sold for just $100 when it was originally released. Today, though, it's vastly different because the value of this particular set has exploded with sealed sets selling for close to $10,000. But why? 
Well, it turns out that the Boba Fett minifigure in this set is one of the most valuable ever to be released and sells for more than $2,000 on its own. On top of that, the other minifigures are also quite valuable. I mean, Lando can be yours for only $450, and even Princess Leia sells for nearly $300 these days. But on the topic of pricey minifigures, take a look at this Spider-Man minifigure, which was given out in the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con. And once again, this free set has become something of a holy grail for collectors. Despite this incredibly rare and valuable minifigure looking incredibly similar to just this one from last year's Spider-Man Final Battle set, the one from Comic-Con is still worth close to $15,000, but it has been sold for as much as $26,000. However, if we're talking about expensive minifigures, then there's one item that cannot be ignored. This display was given out in 2010 to only two lucky winners, one at San Diego Comic-Con and another at the Star Wars Celebration 5. The display contains three of the rarest minifigures ever released, a white Boba Fett, as well as a sterling silver and a 14 karat gold version of the same character. The two metal ones are the only two copies ever made and are actually worth far more than their weight in gold. While putting a price on something this rare is incredibly difficult, current estimates place this display in the $25,000 to $30,000 range, and yet there are LEGO sets that are still even more valuable than this. You might not expect this set to be so valuable, but it is. This is the molding machine set gifted to LEGO employees in 2011 to celebrate the opening of LEGO's new molding factory in Mexico. Since its release, though, only a handful have ever been sold, and all of them for tens of thousands of dollars. While the build itself isn't anything special, these employee-exclusive models always have demanded a high price from collectors, as long as the set remains sealed, of course. As of December 2023, only one is available in new, unopened condition online, and the seller is asking an eye-watering $98,000 for it. Now, this price is most likely way too high, considering that others have been sold at much lower prices. He'll most likely need to drop it to around $50,000 or lower, but these continue to get rarer and rarer as fewer people sell them. I mean, at this point, only the most serious collectors buy them, and these hardcore collectors probably won't sell them anytime soon. However, there's a very special LEGO item that far surpasses even this crazy price tag. The LEGO Ninjago movie might not hold the same level of success as the other LEGO movies, but it was the source for the single most expensive LEGO minifigure ever sold. This wooden replica of Master Wu was just one of four ever made, and all were used as actual props in the film. There's even a great scene where Jackie Chan himself handles one of these figures. Made of actual wood and carved in incredible detail, this minifigure would be the crown jewel in any LEGO collection. To that end, this minifigure sold for exactly $104,500.95. But surprisingly, there's more, because whenever I was researching this video, I found a LEGO set whose price dwarfed even Master Wu. Someone was selling a LEGO set for a whopping $212,500, and this wasn't some super rare or old set. This was 2012's UCS B-Wing Starfighter. Something seemed off, as this set should only sell for about $1,000 new in box. Is this thing made of pure gold, or was it previously owned and built by George Lucas himself? Well, obviously I had to investigate, and it seems that this was just a technical error on the site. Turns out that this set was actually being sold for 212,000 Indian rupees, or about 2,500 USD. However, just like this website, sometimes LEGO makes mistakes of their own. So click here to see LEGO sets that break the rules, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more LEGO videos.